turns now to local 10's Rosh Lowe, who spoke to some of the families who lost loved ones one year ago. Rosh. It was such a difficult day for so many of these families, a day that some of them were dreading. Why? Because they had to relive that nightmare. But they went through the process today, and they hoped for one thing, that these souls will never be forgotten. Tell me about this feather. So they say that when you find a feather, um, that an angel is nearby. And I found this feather right where I parked. As I Sharona Abadi pulls up to the site where she lost her friend, Estelle Hadaya, one year ago. I know there's 98 angels nearby, but this is a special angel. For those who lost loved ones and friends, the reality is still sinking in. For many of them, they tell me it's very, very difficult. They're actually dreading this day because they know they're going to have to relive it. Family and friends of those who lost their lives in the Champlain Tower South collapse line up to pay their respects on this one-year remembrance. My brain <laughs> didn't accept what happened. The parents of 24-year-old Anastasia Gromova walk past the very site where their daughter perished. Why, if, when, why she, why we? So many questions. But we're here with them every single day. So today we're giving them a hug to give them the support they need to show that the whole community is there with them. There were many embraces today. Embraces filled with pain, loss, but also embraces clinging on to the memories of all these souls and the signs, like the feather. Sharona snaps a photo of it next to her friend's name. It's all she has left. One year has passed, but that has not lessened the shock and the tragedy of all of this. So many families still dealing with that every day. And that is why it is so important, according to the rabbi, that the community remembers these souls every single day as we move forward. We're live in Surfside. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.